Are you listening? Destiny 2. Yes, despite 12-year-old gamers insisting to me on Reddit that the game is dead, somehow it's still alive. I mean, sure, yes, I fell asleep during Destiny 2's latest in-game event. But the fact is, Bungie is trying. I mean, in the six years of Destiny, this was the first in-game event of this size. And yes, six years is also the amount of time it took to actually blow up the Almighty, but that is a separate issue. This week, Bungie held a massive reveal of the future of Destiny 2. And if you were betting that the future of Destiny 2 would be Destiny 3, well, you'd be wrong. In fact, Bungie made it very clear. They have no plans to do a Destiny 3. Instead, the studio wants to focus on constantly evolving the current Destiny, with new maps, new modes, in-game events, along with cycling out things that have become old and stale. And that mentality is now the focus of the studio for the next three years, with the company announcing a roadmap for the next three years worth of Destiny 2 content. And that future is going to begin a lot sooner than you might think. This September, Bungie will be releasing Destiny 2 Beyond Light, which will bring Guardians to the Ice Moon of Europa to defeat the fallen hell of darkness, along with giving Guardians the ability to embrace the darkness for the first time ever. This update will also mark the departure of destinations like Mars, Mercury, Titan, and Io, which will be entering what Bungie is calling the Destiny Content Vault. Which, as a 90s kid who survived the Disney Vault, kids, listen to me, never trust the vault. It's just a branding strategy that allows Disney to sell you a copy of the same movie you already own. Guess what, kids? Aladdin King of the Thieves is fresh out of the Disney vault. Get it today for $19.99. But I already own that movie. Do you own the unvaulted movie? Well, no. Buy yours today. Well, when you put it like that. However, in the case of Destiny, this vault might be a good thing for the game. Because according to Bungie, moving select weapons, strikes, destinations, or activities to the vault will allow the developer to hone in and really enhance the items that Guardians are using. Plus, much like Disney, when a destination is unvaulted, Bungie plans on it being a big deal with new features, upgrades, and activities as well. Thanks again for checking out our channel. You know, if you like what you saw and you want more Nerf Report in your life, three things you should do. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on TikTok. Yeah, it's not just weird girls and weird boys doing dances. We're posting daily gaming news. Have your mom, your grandma, your dad, or even your brother follow us on TikTok right now.